the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. As you all know, hospitals have been proposed a lot over the years. But still, they are not in the game today. Why not? I mean, you've all seen them, the suggestions, hospital, field hospital, medic. Plenty of players would love to regain their lost HP. Let's analyze in this video how the current healing system works, if hospitals are a viable option, or if there is another alternative. How to heal troops is a frequently asked question. You can see it here in the chat again. And I'm sure that all of you often have seen the reply from mods because there is a healing system in Call of War. So 15% of lost health hit points is restored at day change if a land or air unit is in or operating from your territory, core and non-core provinces. So if your units are in your territory, they will heal at day change. If your plane is operating out of an airbase that is yours, it's gonna heal up as well. However, if your airplane is in an allied airbase, it will not heal. So ships can heal anywhere, units can be moving or in combat, they will heal, planes on carriers do not heal, ground units or air units never regenerate as support ships or at disembarkation. But so if they are embarking, then they do heal because they're not a ship yet. As you can see written here, only during embarkation from your own territory, of course, you can also use gold. Now, what is this healing system? It is basically the lightly wounded that are being discharged from the hospital and rejoining their unit. They are also reinforcements arriving from HQ to reinforce certain divisions that lack manpower. So there is a healing system. Of course, you guys want it faster. Hence the hospital proposal. All right, so any unit has a certain amount of hit points. As you can see, the Turkish Infantry Regiment is very low on health. It has 20 hit points, but now it only has 7.6 hit points health left. So it is at 33% health. Wouldn't it be nice if we could heal this up? Would be cool, right? Now let's see what actually is happening. As you can see it here, this is just one single infantryman that is marching and he is severely wounded. He should go to the hospital, right? Now, if we go and look a little bit further, I'm gonna click here for more information. The costs, you have here the production cost. You can see that a Cometarian infantry unit costs 820 manpower. Said in other words, one infantry division counts 820 men. But the Turkish unit is only at 33% health left. Meaning it only has 270 men now in the division. They have had 540 casualties. So 540 men are either dead or they are severely wounded. Because, well, that's what casualty means, right? In the World Herald newspaper, you can always see the casualties. You can see that in the course of the war, Turkey has lost 17,106 men. So that's men either killed or severely wounded, but they are out of combat. Now, just to be thorough, I've asked Google what is considered a casualty in war. And the answer is very clear. A military person lost through death, wounds, injury, sickness, internment or capture or through being missing in action. So let's be honest guys, there is not a hospital in the world that's gonna be able to regenerate the health of your troops to 100%. It's simply impossible. This is science fiction guys. And so for those among you who have any doubt how a casualty looks like, I mean, this is it guys. You're not gonna bring a man that died like this back with a hospital. Forget about it. See how the guy is even shocked. It's helpless. 
also medics won't really make a difference. I mean, check this out, it's not gonna help you to regain your HP back, you know? This is a part that you all might have seen, it's a fragment of Saving Private Orion. You see, even the medics, they're in a hopeless situation. What always happens before a major battle is that the ambulances are being lined up close to the battlefield. This way wounded soldiers can be transported to the hospital rather fast. The wounded are being sent to a field hospital where they do an initial triage and where the most urgent cases they will have surgery. As soon as they are stable they are being transported on a hospital ship to be brought back home for further treatment. All of this is also happening in Call of War, except you can't see it, because if the game would have too many details there would be too much lag in the game and that wouldn't be cool at all. And imagine if one Comitern Infantry Brigade has 860 men, then a stack of 10 units would have 8600 men. And so even though you don't see them, the field hospitals, the medics, the ambulances, they are there. And that's the whole reason why we have a healing system in the game. Now what I would like to see in the game is simple. What I would like is a send reinforcements button. All right, you pay the manpower over here that is due to get your unit back to maximum strength. You pay the resources that you need just like when you train a new unit. And then you click the button send reinforcements and your unit is going to stay static just like you upgrade your units, right? And so maybe it can last two hours or two hours and a half just like when you upgrade your units. But instead of upgrading your units, you're going to reinforce your units. You're going to pay for reinforcements. And once the reinforcement is done, your unit will have 100% health. That would be logic, right? Because, let's face it, I think you all have understood by now that, well, hospitals, they can't bring back the dead. So anyway, let me know what you think of my proposal in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe, that helps me out a lot. Ciao!